There are three things that we've forgotten about here on The Oval. The first thing that I want to talk about here is Richard. Remember when Nancy revealed to us that Richard's father was also Picky's father? She told Richard that she didn't really want to reveal it to him because she knew that he was going to go after him. Whatever happened to that? Like, doesn't this topic warrant some type of conversation between Richard and his father? And I know some people even thought that his father was deceased, but why would she say that he was going to go after him if he was in the grave, right? So he has to still be alive and I'm waiting to hear this conversation like what would Richard say to him apparently he's already forgiven and made up with Nancy we saw this in last week's episode so has he also forgiven his father this is a conversation and a scene that I would love to see but because he and Nancy have already made up I'm not sure if a conversation held with his father would offer any type of development to this storyline so that just may never happen but it would have been definitely interesting right the next thing that we've forgotten about is all the deaths all the murders that have taken place we had Denise Diane Laura Jean the boyfriend right all these people that are being murdered and there was no follow-up like people aren't even inquiring to find out what really happened and i'm even more interested to see the tape that's in the hospital remember when miss laura was in the hospital there was a camera that sat right outside of a room you know <laughs> a full camera and priscilla even inquired about it with the nurse but nothing ever happened there was no follow-up the police didn't ask for the tape you know somebody clearly murdered this lady but you know there was nothing else to be said about it not just with her with everybody else right so I guess ain't nobody gonna say nothing you know we're just gonna sweep it under this proverbial rug and move on with the rest of the story and one last thing that we've forgotten about is Sam and where he's living right when Priscilla put him out where did he go Priscilla let him back in for a few minutes you know he was there talking to her but where is he actually laying his head he's not at Nancy's and Richard's he's not at the White House he's not at home so where is he living I mean, are we supposed to just forget that she put him out? You know, Sam is a main character, but we don't see him struggling. We don't see him, you know, longing to go back home. You know, it's mentioned a couple of times throughout the episodes, but they're at work, you know, they're on the move, but we don't see his pain. We don't see his struggle, right? Of being without a place to lay his head. We even see Max shown at the hotel fighting for his life, you know, <laughs> at least we know where he's living, right? But where is Sam living? I don't know. He could be in an Airbnb or he could be... I don't know stopping off at the QT and the BP to wash his hair and stuff I don't know draw me a note in the comments and let me know your theories on where Sam is and about either of these other forgotten storylines thank you so much for joining me on this episode of Ripless TV if you like the video go ahead and give it a thumbs up I'd really appreciate it if you haven't subbed to the channel go ahead and do so because I do videos like this all the time I'll see you in the next one